Welcome to a special game of college baseball. It's an elimination game. One team moving on in the regionals here in Fanville and the other one going home. The Cal Bears have 80 home runs but are stuck on 80. Huff, for how long? Well, they ran into a good TCU pitching staff, and they're looking to right that. You can't keep a good team down long, and particularly Andrew Vaughn, the reigning Golden Spikes Award winner. Central Connecticut got great support yesterday from a kid named T.T. Terry is his first name, but outside of Bowens, they struggled. Well, T.T. Bowens did a great job of driving in all the runs for Central Connecticut yesterday. They're looking for a big pitching performance, and they're going to likely get one from Curtin, who is coming off of an outstanding Northeast Athletic Conference Tournament Championship. And they're pinning their hopes on their starting pitcher, Tom Curtin, who is a bulldog on the mound. He'll throw a slider, a curveball, a change in his fastball, and he spots it. He throws 85 to 89. He went wild with velocity. Cameron Eaton yesterday struck out three times before he got a hit. Q Selma bat second, then Vaughn third. Corey Lee, they could use his bat in the cleanup spot. Then Max Flower, Darren Baker had an RBI hit yesterday. Sam Wesniak, Grant Holman, and Connor Mack. You have to erase that and get going. Off the 2-1, headed toward shortstop. A little backhand there by Patashi, and there is one out. Baumwalker Stadium in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Call third strike. What a first inning for Tom Curtin. Ten pitches and up and down in order. The freshman, Sam Stoutenborough, from a beautiful part of the world, Monterey, California, the first Cal pitcher to eight wins since 2011 when Justin Jones did it on a team that went to the College World Series. Well, the future is bright for Cal pitching when you have arms like this. Sam throws 90-92, he's got a curveball slider and change. The change is his best pitch. Now he's a fiery freshman which means he pitches with a lot of passion. You'll see him pump his fist every now and then, but length is very important for Cal right now because when you get into the elimination part of the bracket, you're going to use a lot of pitchers, and the longer a pitcher can stay in the game, the better it benefits the team. That's the Blue Devils lineup led by Chandler DeBras leading off, then Sam Loda, T.T. Bowens, Dave Matthews, Buddy DeWayne, Jake Syracuse, Peyton Stevens, Chris Karios, and then Matt Bertucci. This one toward the right side of the diamond will be handed unassisted by Vaughn, one out. Two pick up, much less make contact with, but what he does is he got a good breaking ball to go with it. Slow roller, right side of the diamond again. Nice flip. Good play by Darren Baker, two outs in the CCSU first. Gone. Corey Lee's emergence has really assisted Andrew Vaughn in this offense, but he puts a charge into this one. He doesn't waste any time. Look for a fastball in the inner half, and that's just a line drive that got out before we could even say anything. He's sitting on a fastball middle in. He gets it, gets that full extension, and puts Cal on top. The first home run for Cal in two games, the 81st on the season. He got a whack on this one, too. Well, it's mislocation if you're Central Connecticut, but it's in that happy zone if you're Lee at the plate. He put a good swing on, did not miss it, and that ball was just a line drive that kept going. The 3-2 pitch for the man at second and one out in the second. Two outs. I'm sure you want to win today, but you've got to leave something for the next game as well. Base hit, right field, flower around third, they'll send him. It's a bang, bang, play at home plate, not in time, and Cal leads 2 nothing on a two-out hit by Grant Holman. Well, two-out RBIs also come up huge in this regional, but Holman comes through with one here for Cal as he goes down to get what looked to be a low fastball, but hits that low line drive. Flower is going to be off on contact, and because he was, he scores. And that pitch was down. Holman goes to get it. Solid line drive in the left field. Well, yesterday afternoon, 0 from 2 and a couple strikeouts. Hit towards center field. Cameron Eden can't get to it. Looked like he had a beat on it for a while, and whether the ball carried or misjudged, it's a double for Dave Matthews to start the second. Dave Matthews puts a charge into this. He generates some backspin and some carry. It looked like Eden. 3-2 pitch, runner stays. Slow roller ahead of the pitcher. Tough play. Overthrow, it's gonna score a run. 
And diving in a second. Off the air and throw is Dwayne. It is 2-1, California. Central Connecticut looking to put pressure on Dwayne. Takes a full swing, but it's one of those rolling ground balls at extremely slowly. This was going to be a tough play for Selma. Hindsight 2020. But I'm not sure that Selma had a chance to get Dwayne on the throw. He rushes the throw, and as a result, he throws the ball away, which leads to a run and an extra base. Now the tying run. And Dwayne is at second base on what I imagine to be a throwing air. The kid just north of Hartford. Off the change, base hit center field. Runner around third. The throw ahead into home plate, cut off. Game tied at two. Wow, Scott, how efficient has this inning been for the Blue Devils? They're taking advantage of the opportunities that they've created offensively. Syracuse gets a breaking ball that's up in the zone, but one of the best ways to drive in runs is to stay in the middle of the field. He does exactly that, stays back on the ball, lets it travel towards the catcher. It's a good swing on it, gets the extension through. That's a line drive up the middle. Wayne's going to score easily. Winner gets a chance to move on tomorrow and stay alive. Runner stays, line drive third, chance for a double play. Quentin Selma got him. Selma on the catch, quick fire to Andrew Vaughn, and a double up. And now faces the top of the order in Cameron Eden, Quentin Selma, and Andrew Vaughn. Little roller right in front of the pitcher. Curtin will handle, and a wide throw. Eden around first base into second. He's around second, now headed into third. Wow, the ball didn't go more than 15 or 20 feet, and he's already in a scoring position. Oh, when you have speed, this is what can happen. Eden puts pressure on this Blue Devil defense by just putting the ball in play. It's a full swing, and it forces Kurt to come off the mound. It's a swinging bunt. With Eden hustling all the way, running through the bag. I think this will be a hit in a two-base air. Well, Dusty Baker's in the house. Maybe we'll get around to asking him about it, what he would do. 2-1 pitch, going to score a run. Cameron Eden comes home. Andrew Vaughn gets an RBI ground out, and Cal regains the lead at 3-2 with two outs here in the third. Opposite field. Base hit. Up against the fence. The Bras around first into second with a double and a good start. For the Blue Devils again, this time in the third. A 3-0 pitch. Base hit right field. That will tie the game. Timely two-out hit by Dave Matthews, and we're even once again at three. Well, never mind the shutdown inning. Dave Matthews gets up in a hitter's count 3-0 and gets a perfect pitch to drive and delivers. It's a fastball down the middle. Middle in but up in the zone, around waist high. He knows exactly what to do with it. It's got to be tough when you're trying to watch your son play, but he is such a good man. How about Baker going the other way and down the left field line around first base. He's going to fly in a second with a double. Darren Baker with a one out, two base hit down the line and left. <laughs> All right. Good moment for Pop, huh? Lost their positions due to it. This headed to shortstop. Nice pickup. Inning over. Patachi able to save the inning. Both teams used a slew of pitchers yesterday. Not the case today. Both starters still around as we're almost halfway home this game. Toward left field. Ball carrying in play, though. And inning over. Peyton Stevens with a catch. Central Connecticut dodges yet another potential rally. It, it comes down to managing that bullpen, and that's what Mike New did last night after TCU got up a bunch, is that he saved arms for today, and that's why he's sticking with Stoutenborough through this, and you should when he's this effective. As he Stoutenborough now two strikeouts in the game, just a freshman. Facing the top of the order, and a tough top of the order. And Cameron DeBras and Chandler comes through with a base hit. Station to the station at the top, and one of the reasons maybe this base hit will move them station to station. Lotus first hit of the game. The Bras, the go ahead run at second. It's a lot of fun hitting with guys on base, and TT's been on a lot. 
Crank toward right field and deep. Does it have a chance? Go on. How about that? And what a day for Matthews. A double, a single, a three run homer. Matthews comes up big. He got a pitch that he elevated into the jet stream here, but ball kept carrying. The devs are rolling. Big two out hit for Central Connecticut. That's a fastball in and up. Matthews short to the ball. Great to lift. And a lot of carry to the tune of three runs for Central Connecticut. Here are the Blue Devils. Halfway to winning an elimination game. Inning over on the call, third strike, but Dave Matthews, what a day. Four runs bat in, including a three-run bomb. Holman did it in the second. Can he do it again? Torch short. Three scoreless innings in succession for Tom Curtin. Starting to get a little late for the Bears, and his job right now is just to hold a fort. And Syracuse out on strikes. Well, it's tough to make the adjustment on, especially if it comes back with a nasty slider like that. Started for Cal, won five innings, gave up six runs. Armand Sabori comes on and strikes out the side. To the Cal seventh. Lots of baseball to watch. Two outs. Sam Loda. Going to be tough. And out. Nice play by Sabori. Up and down for the Blue Devils. Cal down to its last two innings. Tom Curtin, the last four innings, shutout baseball. A chance to win it. And Bulldog really able to bear down when his team needed it the most. Well, he pitched ass build. He filled up the zone. He limited his defense and minimized damage, but leaves with Tim leading by three as Charlie Hickey turns it over to the bullpen. Jared Gallagher coming out of the pen. Torch short. Bocacci, one out. Well, congratulations. You come into the game. You're going to face the heart of this Cal order, and he throws a first pitch strike and retires powerful hitter Andrew Vaughn. Vaughn hasn't had many chances to hit with runners on base today. Or for that matter, in either game. Now here with two outs and two strikes in the top of the eighth. Gallagher to home plate. Blue Devil pitching has been really good. The higher part of the 80s before the day and night is over. Strike three call Armand Sabori in relief. Now has five punch outs. Yeah, he's been extremely effective. Blue Devils have won 12 of their last 17, and they're that close to adding a 13th. Going the opposite way. That ball is carrying. That ball is gone. Well, insurance now for the Blue Devils. Buddy Dwayne. We've seen the ball carry to right. The right-hander, Dwayne, takes an Armand Sabori offering. Out to right field, shows his strength and is the first hitter to solve Sabori. That's the first hit he's given up since entering the game. That's a pitch away, the extension by Dwayne. He's excited and should be as the ball carries into the right field bullpen. Yeah, in fact, you mentioned first hit given up. First man to hit the ball out of the infield against Saborius five were strikeout victims. <laughs> Looking more and more like the Blue Devils will live to play another day. And that would be tomorrow. Jared Gallagher, the senior. Baker over the head of the pitcher. To first base. Did he beat it? Yes. Darren Baker flying down the first baseline. Good start to the Cal ninth as he's on base for the third time today. That one pounded to left field. What a nice catch by Peyton Stevens. As that ball started to rise on him. And there's one out in the ninth. Ideally, you'd like your outfielder to. 
Gallagher 1-0 pitch toward center field and dropping. That'll make it 7-4 to go station to station to be conservative in this spot. And more importantly for Cal, potential tie run coming up. Nice job by Eden of taking a pitch away and hitting into the right center field gap. To get that RBI, Darren Baker is going to score easily, but it moves the line, and now you're starting to get towards the power spot of this order. And he does have 10 home runs for the year. Wind blowing out. A blast here with tie it up at seven. Andrew Vaughn awaits. Popped up. This should do it. History for the Blue Devils. First NCAA tournament win. Well, an outstanding effort by this Blue Devil team. A big day for Dave Matthews as he had the three hits, the big three-run home run, and then the pitching performance of Tom Curtin was a gutsy one that gave his team a chance. Ga uh, Gallagher closes it down. That's quite a win for this Central Connecticut team. We'll come back with some post-game remarks. Final, Blue Devil 7, Cal 4, history has been made. The celebration continues as the Blue Devils. First time winner, Scott, live to play another day. It was an outstanding performance by the entire team. You got the offense that they needed from Dave Matthews. Tom Curtin goes seven innings to keep his team in it. Central Connecticut advances and waits on the loser of the outstanding matchup that's going to take place at 6 p.m. Central between Arkansas and TCU. Terrific pitching matchup tonight.